Alright guys, how are you all doing? I'm Fiesta here and today we have some important news basically regarding on AMD uh, RX 7000 series and of course some other news is like uh, pricing information about the UK market in and the RX 4080 getting price drop and of course Intel Core i9-3900KS getting uh, a benchmark league in Geekbench so we'll look into it. So firstly we have the first AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX and XT3D Mark Times by and Fire Strike scores. And this is a reported by video cards here. And if you look into it, this is the 3D Mark Times by uh, graphic scores. And that's the RTX 4090 for comparison. And if you look into the comparison here with the 7900 XTX, well, it's uh, quite slower basically in 3D Mark Times by. Like RTX 4090 is around like. 29% faster which is kind of alarming for AMD here like what's going on in 4k of course and also in uh, 1440p the results remain the same again 29% drop in performance so that's alarming for AMD here that it's losing in 3D Mark times by which is not bad uh, not good I should say same goes to 7900 XT is around 30% basically a 1% loss here and compared to RTX 4090, is quite a huge percent loss. Then again, it's not competing anyway. It's not competing against, uh, well, the 7900 XTX. Is, they even AMD mentioned that they're going to compete against the RTX 4080. But yeah, it shows that they're not going to be competing well enough. But again, it's a synthetic benchmark. If you look into the Fire Strike data, there is a little bit of hope here. Though, I wouldn't say hope because... If you look into it, it's losing by 24%, which is, again, re reduces a little bit, but still it's way too far off. And yeah, the scores are looking not good. But in 1440p, the results, I mean, it kind of closes up to 18%, but still 18% is a lot. And yeah, of course, 7900 XT is trailing with the RTX 4080, which is a good deal. And the 7900 XTX is winning against the RTX 4080. So in this case, AMD's made the promise straight, but not against the RTX 4090. But then again, they're not competing against the RTX 4080. I wonder what will be AMD bringing in to compete against RTX 4090. Or even they will bring any. But I think they will. There's a possibility. Next up, we have awdit.co.uk. Basically, a UT retailer here showing that the price drop coming real soon and it's already here basically the palette nvidia geforce rtx 4080 game rock has been dropped to a uh, euro of 1099 basically uh, 1100 U uh, euros uh, and before it was 1429 which is quite a big drop to be honest with you it's like a 250 dollar drop this is a good drop i have to say and i mean the drop is necessary otherwise this car won't get sold literally and this is a nice drop literally yeah hopefully the price will drop in us also because you know otherwise this this card will not get sold but then again i wonder what amd's you know going to perform so it's all going to come down to the competition and next up we have a sapphire radeon rx 7900xtx nitro plus getting pictured here and this is the source coming from video cards they themselves and well they're bringing in this uh card and well not they they just leaked it and this is the card basically and it looks very clean i have to say like the front of the card is very clean as you can see nothing but in the, on the side yeah there's a, a little bit of purple and bluish accent and i like that the heatsink is very beefy that's for sure and of course this is a nitro card so Usually Sapphire Nitro cards are very, you know, like, you know, in terms of cooling, it's quite good. And in terms of performance, it overclocks pretty much well. So yeah, this card is looking very beefy. This is a, by the way, this is a three slot card. Maybe three and a half slot, because, or maybe not. That's a three, yeah, three slot card. Usually AMD cards are, well, considering this area, as you can see right here, like after this slot, there's an extra bit of layer so I believe this is a three and a half slot car if you consider the whole, you know, uh, cooler here. And so, yeah, basically the design is very beefy and 
Well, if you're interested, they will be bringing in soon. So yeah, watch out for the market. Next up, we have Copite 7 Kimmy bringing in RTX 4070 information here. And well, this is uh, very good news basically because they are remaining 12 gigs, not 8 gigs. That's, uh, that's good news. But also the CUDA cores are 5,888, which is comparatively higher, I believe. Yeah, but the best part is that 21 Gbps of memory speed and of course 12 gigs of GDDR6X memory, which is nice. Also, the total board power, the TBP, I believe that's the TBP, will be 250 watts with an L2 cache of 36 megabytes. So that's going to be interesting to see that. Uh, how well this RTX 4070 performs because I mean at least for sure Nvidia this time are not cheaping out with the memory here because 12 gigs I mean for a mid-range card I, I think it's fine yeah and lastly we have some Geekbench scores for the Core i9 13900KS and if you look into it in single core it's getting around 2314 and the multi-core is about 26,619 and another score is getting similar amount of score, 200, 300, 2,319. And also, and another score is getting a little bit lower, 2,259. So, in, on average, it's 10% faster than the 12,900KS, the previous generation, of course. So, just a 10% lead in single core, I don't know if it's justified, but yeah, it's just a 10% lead. So, I don't think that's going to be appealing to too many people. Like, if you already have a 12,900KS... I don't think that's a good deal because in only in the single core is getting 10%. Maybe in multi-core is a different story, but in single core, yeah, it's not a huge lead. So we'll see how well the other, you know, basically other games or other products related productivity related workloads perform with this processor, but other than that, right now in Geekbench, we're seeing that 10% lead and it's not that much appealing, I have to say. Alright, that is it for today. Not too much information here, but yeah, basically we are having some first uh, benchmarks for Radeon uh, RX 7000 series and that's exciting, though it's losing against RTX 4090 by a big margin, though then again, they're not competing with RTX 4090 anyway, so I wonder what they have in their sleeves. But anyway, have a good day, like, share and subscribe and of course have a good day. Again, I'm repeating that. Yeah.